Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson. In this update, we're going to look at our chance of thunderstorms heading into the weekend, some cooler weather that will warm, and when's our next chance of severe storms? Details coming up in this version of Hutch's weather right now. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbons Sons deserve congratulations for being three times Bryant Circle of Champion Award recipients. Bryant whatever it takes. And Robert Gibbonson serving our area for over 110 years. Give them a call. Let them know Hutch sent you for any of your mechanical needs. Now let's take a look at what's going on with regards to our radar tonight. Severe thunderstorm watch Southern Minnesota. Look at that I-94 corridor from around that St. Cloud area right into the Twin Cities and it moves into western and northern parts of Wisconsin. There's severe thunderstorms out there producing some hail to around an inch in diameter. Some gusty winds as well. They're moving right through the Minneapolis area right now in the north Northern Metro up there over near White Bear Lake is where we're seeing the latest of the activity. Red Wing, a few strong thunderstorms there, but the blue box is not quite severe yet. That's what that means. And uh, still some gusty storms and some hail um, all the way down towards Arcadia. We're seeing a cluster, a large cluster of heavy rain producing thunderstorms down there. Those presently non-severe, but a little bit of hail possible from those. Some very gusty storms you can see moving right into Davenport here, this backward C shape. Oh my goodness, this is a wind event type of a storm right here. Well, we do have a number of wind reports in excess of 60 and even over 70 miles per hour in a few of these reports with numerous reports of tree damage from these storms as they work their way through places like Cedar Rapids, uh, all the way down through the Wilton area, Iowa City, Tipton, and again, this is blowing right into Davenport as we speak. So get off the Davenport, heed the warnings, and head on towards shelter in an interior room. These gusts of the wind will be moving from the north and from the west. Now, our forecast for the weekend ahead, we're going to take a look at what's going on right now with regards to risk for severe. Notice the Black Hills seeing some storms as we head into our Friday evening. Here's what you need to know. The wind arrows for us northerly, that's keeping us so much more relieved from that humid air. The dew points in the 70s are gone, and now we're enjoying some comfort out across the region. However, there will be some changes, and the storm track will mainly be to the south. So the farther north you are, along and north of Highway 2, your weekend chances of storms not too great. Let's go over that hour-by-hour -hour forecast right now for the weekend ahead. We'll take a look at this particular model. It'll do a fine job of keeping us up to date with, well, what we are expecting with regards to our particular area. I'm going to move this around just a little bit here so we can highlight our area. Now, as we go through time here, what you're going to notice as I finally get a model pulled up here that goes out far enough for us through the weekend. Here we go. Okay. We're going to have a chance of thunderstorms there in the Black Hills. Those will skirt their way across into portions of central South Dakota. This timestamp here is about 2 a.m. Now, nothing for us until we get to daybreak and then some expansing, uh, expanding rather showers and thunderstorms. So daybreak thunder showers around 3 to 6 a.m. from southeast and south central North Dakota into the FM area. If you're south of Interstate 94, your chances are greater for rain up to the north. Your chances are lower for rain. This could impact as we go into the morning hours, portions of Lakes Country, Otter Tail, Grant County, uh, Wadena County, pushing very rapidly, though, as you see here, by around the 10 a.m. time frame, and it's out of here, leaving us with nice conditions for the day, although not necessarily hot. It'll be a pleasant start to the day. Thunderstorms will form with an area of low pressure down here in portions of South Dakota. This will expand north and east. Look at that as we go into your Sunday morning. So you're looking at about 2 to 3 a.m. and again, a repeat performance. But this time, the rain showers push a little bit farther to the north. Uh, as far as severe weather goes, not in our area. The risk for severe will be down to the south. We're going to look at that risk for severe right now. Now, as you go through your Friday, here's a look at what the Storm Prediction Center says. Is the area of concern for tonight's severe weather? And it's right where it's happening. Northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, the Brainerd Lakes area and points out. Notice from Pier and down towards Sioux Falls, that yellow is a level two risk. So some scattered to uh, uh, more widespread severe thunderstorms possible in those particular uh, areas. Let me move the timestamp out of the way so you can see this is for your Friday night. Now let's take a look at that severe weather risk for Saturday and boom, it's mainly along the South Dakota border and into central South Dakota. So from the Black Hills through the Badlands into Pier and on out towards Aberdeen a slight chance of severe weather there. The green, by the way, it looks like somebody's uh, foot there. <laughs> that is basically uh, an area where we have a level one risk of severe weather. That means storms could flirt with severe criteria. Notice it's mainly south. And again, this is for your Saturday night and into Sunday. Now, as we go from 
Saturday night, or excuse me, Sunday and into Monday. Here's an area of concern right now. Just garden variety thunder showers up across most of North Dakota with a marginal chance that a couple storms could become severe. In the big sky country of Montana, northeast parts of Wyoming, not far from Gillette, all the way through South Dakota and southern Minnesota. As we go into the weekend, that's a look at that. Now let's take a look at that smoke that's been a problem. Will you have to worry about the choke that is the smoke? Here's your complete forecast information on that. This particular model does a good job, but it does, does only go out about 48 hours when we're talking about smoke forecasting. It's important to remember that uh, things change with regards to the severity of the fires that are out there. So here's what you need to know. Now, as we set this puppy into motion, you're going to see that we're going to have, let me see if I can get this scooted up here just a little bit. There we go. Okay. No snow, uh, smoke in our neck of the woods as we go through the weekend. The timestamp here is Saturday morning. Look at this. Any smoke will be out in Montana, and we'll see fairly quiet conditions smoke-wise, much like we have on our Friday here looking pretty good. So that's a look at your smoke forecast. I'm going for no smoke, and that's no joke as we head through your weekend. So now let's take a comprehensive look at your forecast for the Saturday morning time frame. Expect your temperatures to be, be near 55 to 65 degrees from the Canadian border, a few near 70 degree readings in southeast North Dakota as those clouds really start building in. We'll see a rumble of thunder and some morning time showers in our southern counties. Fargo, it's not a, a zero chance, but the chance will be a little greater on your Saturday morning down to the south. I have us at about a 30 to 40 percent chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then, whoops, the smoke is not a factor, but here's where we'll have some thunderstorms Saturday afternoon and particularly late at night into your Sunday morning. This cluster of showers and thunderstorms that form here in the heat of central South Dakota, where it'll be near 90 once again, will drift their way to the north and to the east, as you saw on the model. That means the James River Valley, the Cheyenne River Valley, Grand Forks and Fargo all have a chance at seeing some uh, precipitation as that system works its way through. How much rain is in store? Let me go through the details on this. This is your, uh, let's see, Friday at midnight to uh, Sunday morning. So throughout the day on Saturday and into the early hours of Sunday morning, uh, the uh, forecast amounts of rain will be greatest along the South Dakota border and points north will have lower amounts. And notice how pimply they are here. We're going to see hit and miss showers uh, along and north of Interstate 94. Down to the south may be a little more widespread, but there will still be areas that get missed, as you know. Some could pick up an inch or a little bit more of rain. Then there's another round that will be coming through as we take a look at this. Whoopsies, my apologies. Let me just change this image here. And we'll go ahead and pop up on there the uh, uh, forecast precipitation as we go into your Monday morning. So basically from Sunday morning to Monday morning, notice the northerly shift. Those storms develop in South Dakota, drifting to the north and east with heavier rain bands, possibly along Interstate 94. Some of these areas, not all as this model is painting, will see up to a half inch to an inch of rain. Isolated lo locations, including on this model, it says Fargo, having a chance at over an inch of rain as that humid air does return to the the region and places that got it on the uh, Friday to su Sunday morning time frame will get another round of hit and miss showers and storms down to the south as well. Your seven day planner looks like this. Take a look at this cool and comfortable temperatures as we start the work week on Monday the 18th after a chance of those morning thunder showers and showers in our region both Saturday then late Saturday night and into Sunday morning. A very quiet start to the week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, sunny and delightful we have out there with extra spiffy conditions for your home day. Then Thursday, thunder returns, and Hutch has it painted red because there will be a chance with the heat and humidity returning for a few storms to be strong. We can't tell you exactly what towns will be impacted by this time, but on your eventide seven-day planner, it's uh, showing us that we'll see some summer-like weather and some comfortably cool weather in the upcoming few days. But Hutch's hunch is that Thursday will be our next chance for some more widespread strong to severe thunderstorms, while the weekend will bring most of the strong to severe chances well to the south. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks again to my friends at Eventide for sponsoring Hutch's seven-day planner. Eventide is a wonderful place to live and a fantastic place to work as well. You can find out more information today by heading to eventide.org or call them up and ask them for a visit because they have facilities that include uh, basically your assisted living. You can have independent living options as well as memory care all offered in the same location. Give them a call today, ask for a tour, and let them know that Hutch sent you. For now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you you can check the latest weather anytime, anywhere on hutchesweather.com. Please 
You are helping me if you click the follow button on my Facebook page and the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. For now, have a great Friday evening, and that is a look at your weather.